Hello everybody. Today we're going to be photographing this beautiful vase or vase if you prefer of flowers. And we're going to be setting the flowers onto a flashpoint shooting table. And here you can see I'm setting up a set of lights. Two lights coming in from the front. These are the DASNY D20 LED lights and they measure about 5 by 7 inches. And I can run these either off of a battery or I can use an AC adapter, 12 volt AC adapter. The power is set to 70% and I have the color balance set to 5200 Kelvin. However, I'm going to be using my iPhone to photograph these with and I'm not going to be using any special iPhone apps to do the photography with. So the phone is going to be adjusting in auto white balance mode. However, if I'm shooting in the camera room using my Nikon, I'm going to use a custom white balance. Both of the DASNY lights have an umbrella bracket attached to it, which allows me to hook up the LED light on top of the bracket. And then I can mount the umbrella bracket onto a light stand, as you can see that I'm doing here. And here you can see I'm mounting a 34 inch translucent umbrella into the umbrella bracket. So we're going to be getting a little bit of a softer light. And the light that's on our right side is going to be our main light. And about 45 degrees to our right side. The DASNY D20 on our left side, I'm going to be using this as our fill light instead of using a reflector. And I'm going to be bouncing it off the ceiling. So what a fill light does is it's going to brighten up the shadow side of the object that we're photographing. So we're bouncing this off the ceiling just to get a nice soft fill. And then next we're going to be setting our vase or vase of flowers onto our flashpoint shooting table. The flashpoint shooting table measures about 24 inches by 40 inches long or about 60 by 100 centimeters. And the surface is made of plexiglass and the one side has a non-reflective plexiglass which is the side that we're currently using here. I'm going to put a link in the description below in case you want to take a look at some of the items that we're using here. Next, I'm going to be bringing in a light that we're going to be shooting either underneath or a little bit from behind. That's going to help us get rid of some of those shadows if we want to. And the light that I'm currently using it's called a Limo Studio Continuous LED Portable Light. It's a very small unit. It's AC powered and it also comes with two gel filters. One is a yellow and one is a blue filter in color. Normally I'll use this type of light when I'm using a light tent or a light box. These are very small units. They also have a built-in stand and they're very powerful. In this case here, it's too powerful for what we have our other lights set to. So I'm just going to drape a translucent vellum paper, it's called, to soften up and reduce the intensity of the light. And these you can get at a craft store, something like Michael's. Now keep in mind, you can adjust this to suit your taste. You can angle the light to suit your taste as well. And if you decide that you want to weaken the backlight even more, you can add another layer of diffusing material over the light. Or you can use, sometimes I'll just use a sheet of paper and that works out fine too. Okay, so we're ready for our first photo. So this is the result of using the two DASNY lights, the right one with a translucent umbrella, and then we bounced our fill light off the ceiling, which brightened up the shadow side of the flowers. And we have a decent photograph here, but let's try something else. I'm going to be adding in a little bit more of a kick, 
from the left-hand side. So we have the light coming in from our left and a little bit behind the flowers, but we're going to soften that light up. And here I'm placing a 32-inch translucent reflector, which these come in, you can get a kit of, I believe, like five different reflectors in one. And this is a translucent one. It's very similar to the umbrella that I'm using. So you can actually shoot through this and it'll soften and diffuse the light, give you a nice soft light. But we're going to be using it as kind of a, what I call a kicker light or a rim light. And it's going to give us a little bit more light to the left side. Normally, I would have this reflector mounted onto a light stand, but here I'm just leaning it on the light on top, and on the bottom, I'm just leaning it against the flashpoint shooting table ridge on the bottom. So now we have our main light coming in from our right side, and then we have a kicker light coming in from a little bit behind the flowers or to the side of the flowers just giving a little bit more shape or dimension to the flowers. So here's a photo that we have now. And you can see that the flowers on the left is a little bit brighter and have a little bit more shape than it did when we bounced the fill light off the ceiling. Now, many times, if I want to add color onto the background, I'll use a color that's similar to what I'm photographing. So here you can see we have a yellow filter that's coming in from the back or the bottom of the flashpoint shooting table. And remember, if we have to, we can diffuse this light also by draping a piece of translucent vellum over it. Now we're going to try a blue gel. And even though there's no blue in the uh, objects that we're photographing, I just wanted to, just to give you an idea how it looks by when you do use a gel. When I put the blue gel in here, it was a little bit strong, so the light was a little bit washed out. So I wanted to weaken or soften that light. So I just draped the translucent vellum paper over the backlight here. Now, when using this flashpoint shooting table with a combination of different lighting, there's just so much you can do to get some really beautiful results. You're only limited by your imagination. Good luck with this, and thank you for watching.